It's a blow against the Biden administration for now, but it's not over. A federal judge in Texas is preserving one Trump era immigration policy just as another is set to end. The so-called Remain in Mexico policy prevents migrants seeking asylum from waiting in the U.S. during that process. The U.S. Supreme Court initially ruled President Joe Biden had the authority to get rid of it, but it sent the case back to the lower court. Right now the question is, did they do it properly under the APA? There are notice provisions, public comment provisions, you know, they're, they're specifically spelled out ways that you can enact policy under the Administrative Procedures Act. The judge ruled against the White House yesterday. Analysts say the administration likely will appeal and request a stay. If they get that, we'll go back to where we were before. Meanwhile, Title 42 is set to end next Wednesday. It largely bars asylum seeking at the southern border, citing public health. Yesterday, the Biden administration unveiled this six-point plan to prepare for the expected migrant surge. Already a senior border official reports an influx in the El Paso sector. The mayor of that city says crossings could reach 5,000 a day starting next week. This Venezuelan mother says if her family gets a new life in the U.S., the first thing they'll do is thank God. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. Mayors and cities are bearing the brunt of Congress' inability to act to continue to play politics and not do what's right uh, in terms of sitting down and negotiating a policy around immigration that makes sense. And once again, we have our cities all over this nation uh, bearing the burden of that inactivity. So we need federal government to act to address this crisis at our border and to make sure we have a policy that makes sense for those who are trying to come in the U.S., but also to help those of us who are on the ground trying to make accommodations for those who want to come to this nation seeking uh, freedom and seeking opportunity. The reality is that while we're trying to take care of those who are on house, and by the way, we know this is a challenge in cities all over the country in terms of our neighbors being on house, and uh, we are also trying to house those who are coming to our, our uh, transportation uh, station uh, in the city of Denver. And we simply can't do both. It's stressing our system. It's stressing our, our shelters in the city of Denver. 